God has created us to help ourselves. God in his wisdom has designed that no man is self-sufficient. No man is all-sufficient. No man is super-sufficient. Pride not to acknowledge this is what makes many people to suffer for long. Maybe there are many of us since we started this year, we have been claiming we are super sufficient. Stop it! People who claim to be super sufficient are proud. There is no body in this church. I'm not a beggar. You know what I'm talking about. I have not begged money from any of us. You know what I'm talking about. But if I need a hand, we are praying here on Saturday morning. And all of the people that came, I said, please, can you join us so that we'll sweep together so that it will be faster? And they're obliged. What did they do? They helped. If they choose not to, that work will have been slow. At the point when we finished sweeping, trying to arrange, I was tired already. Because I've been awake for long, so I couldn't do some things again. No man is created to be self-sufficient. No man is created to be all-sufficient. No man is created to be super-sufficient. We will always need help at every junction of our lives. Help simply means assistance or aid to get something done. We we'll always need a lot to be done. You want to get married, you cannot be the chief bridesmaid at the same time. You cannot be the one controlling the food at the same time. You need help. You want to do naming ceremony. Even if you give back to a child, you need help. That is help at that junction. Even where you are working, you need help. That's help at that junction. Even the church where we are, we need to complement ourselves in help. Help at every junction. You need to build a house. You need help so that you will not buy a wrong land. You need to start building. You need your competent hand and the people that will, help, that will even direct you to do what is right. You need help. You will always need help. But let me help you tonight. What God is saying. There are four kinds of help. Never forget what I said. No man is self-sufficient. Somebody say after me, no man is self-sufficient. Say it like you are alive. No man is self-sufficient. No man is all-sufficient. And no man is super-sufficient. Believe me. There are four kinds of help we have seen in scriptures. Number one is help from self. Some people feel that they are sufficient on, on their own. And that's the beginning of pride. Truly, we can do all things through Christ who strengthen us. But you cannot be also, you cannot be self-sufficient on your own. Looking to yourself for help is removing God away from your life. The Bible speaking, he said, I will look up to the hills. He said, from where come my help? He said, my help come from the Lord. Not from yourself. God created you. The Lord God who knows your beginning knows your end. In Isaiah 43, the Bible said, the, the Lord knows the end from the beginning. God is the Alpha, he is the Omega. He knows your end from your beginning. And if he knows your end from your beginning, that implies that you always need his help. So for you to think you are self-sufficient, it is called self-help. Any man who relies on self-help will not last. I can do without you. No. no, you can't. There's something valuable in you. There's something valuable in me. There's something God will pass through somebody to deliver to you. Never think you are self-sufficient. So, self-help is a level. Number two is help from woman. Help from woman exists truly. God designed that we complement ourselves. But the Bible said we should never rely on it. Who can help me and read? 
Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 5. Jeremiah 17 and verse 5. The Bible said we should never depend on the help of a man. Never depend on the help of a man. God can pass through a man to help you. But let it be that you are not depending on that man for the help you need. Your eyes is towards God and towards heaven. Jeremiah 17 and verse 5. Who is there? Jeremiah 17 and verse 5. Thus says the Lord. Cause is the man who put his trust in man and make, and make flesh his strength and make flesh his help and make woman being the source of his help. The moment you rely on your uncle, your brother, the president, the this, you will fail. The Bible says, cause be any man who puts his trust in man and make flesh, make woman being his source of help. Sit. Cause be any man Never rely on people. Manage your people well. Everybody is important. But do not actually put your trust in man for help. Honor all men. Respect men. Because God will bring all his blessing through a man. But that does not mean we should rely in a man. Please understand this. Trust all people. Respect all people. Honor all people, but do not make a woman be your source of help. The Bible says you will be disappointed. Cause is any man that make that make that trust in man and make flesh his source of help. When you do that, you are placing a cost on yourself. Many of us have been disappointed. You know why we are disappointed? We have trusted in the people that are around us. That because my brother is the governor, I must be helped. There are many people who come from the hometown of the president, who are president, cousin and brother. The same father even raised them from the same company, yet they are poor. Putting your trust in the hands of flesh. Making man your source of help will disappoint you. I'm not saying you should be arrogant. Understand me. Honor all people. But do not depend on man for help. I will look up to the hills. From where comes my help? My help is coming from the Lord. We made the heaven and the earth. Help from self, number one. Help from woman, number two. Number three is help from demon. Or you can call it demonic help. People who go to Abalist, soothsayer, sorcerers, talisman, are actually seeking help from demon. Malam are actually seeking help from demon. I remember the testimony of a lady here. How many of you saw her? She was here with her mother last Sunday in the evening who had a leg problem and that leg was paining her. The leg was paining her so much that she doesn't want to come to church that day. And I remember I was preaching. I was here that day. I said, the Lord said there's someone here. You have a leg problem. He said, that leg problem is going right now. The lady shouted off from there. He said, sir, I've actually visited the full of people to help me and heal this leg yet. He did not heal. I've visited everywhere and I've prayed. It looks as if it's not working. But I never lay hand. I never call out for special prayer. I was only ministry, and the Lord told me, he said, there's a lady here with a leg condition. He said, you are healed now. And by the grace of God, the lady became healed. God proved to that lady that you don't need demonic help. You don't need to consult any negative altar for you to enjoy help from the Lord. That's what God is proving. I'm not missing anything with Christ. Believe me. Demons has fought me. A lot of things has, if I open up some few things I've seen as a pastor, there are few things I've not even shown my wife. 
Demons has fought. This has fought. All manner. Scorpion has never beaten me before. But I've slept on top of Scorpion before. Let God be trying to make me lie. Not once, not twice. It looked as if it was sent in plenty. And I slept and woke up. When I woke up, the lady who came in to the place where I was sleeping, he said, he said, sir, you didn't even see the scorpions. I said, you are saying it. You yeah, didn't see it. And nothing bites you, and I said, nothing. I've been in the bush before, seeing all manner of snake. I've seen demon appear to me before. Believe me, I was fighting a battle for two sisters. I've seen something appear to me before. Say you. There's a woman we are trying to pray for some times ago who could not be promoted in her office for six years. And I said, I will come to your house to we'll pray every Friday. I will be going there to pray. I remember one day we were praying, and that way we were praying. A life cat. I'm telling you, I'm not, I'm not telling you a boo story. I saw a life cat. I saw a life cat roll. The Lord spoke to me and said, it is over. Like a life cat disappeared. Appear and disappeared. I couldn't tell the people we were praying with. And truthful to the word of the Lord, that woman was promoted. And after that woman became promoted, let God be true and not make me lie. I was going home one day. I was living in our old church that day. I was going home that day. And look, I see one breeze came on me like this. And I was falling down. I told the young man beside me, I said, hold me. And I heard the voice. He said, what is your hold with this woman? And I replied, God sent me. Let God be true and not me I'm telling you a life story. In the office of that woman, they sent a representative of a witch to come and check. The woman came to me and came to see me and he said, he's even a small boy. That was what the man, the woman who never met me from Adam. We have never met before. We have never discussed before. He saw me for the very time. He looked at me and said, he's even a small boy. You know the meaning of that? I don't teach demonology because so that you will not create fear. But I've seen things. If you think being a pastor and staying a pastor without missing anything with God is easy. Let God call you. But if you will not hold tight, you will look for demonic help. It may not be even be demon appearing to you. Let me open up something to you. There is nothing that places pressure on a man like money. You have good thing in your heart. You want to do money. It's not there to do it. That's what pastor will tell you. He said, don't disturb yourself. Go to a door. Let them put something on your head. Tie what this thing on your bumble. Money will come. That's how they do it. No, sir. The Bible speaking in Psalm 16 and verse 4. He said, Their sorrow shall be multiplied, that hasting after another God. You consider an alternative, you go for demonic help, your sorrow becomes multiplied. Ah. That story I should not tell you. Ah, yeah, I've seen things. I've seen things. One day I was praying at the old church. I don't know what brought me to this one. Anyway, God wants me to. Tell some of us to stop the kurube you are collecting from village. Stop it. You can't be praying to God Almighty and still have something in your pocket. No, sir. It won't work. They say, don't worry. As you are praying, this one too will help. Anywhere you are going, just put it in your eyes. It's favor. No, sir. Their sorrow shall be multiplied. The hasting after another. I was praying in the old church one day. I ran to him. Rasu kefi kefi lafi fa sika, and I began to hear full step, like woman being walking. Bah, bah. I say, who is coming to greet me this night? Two a.m. So I picked the torchlight. As I opened the door, let God be true and no man be like. At the entrance of the church, I saw a bed. I saw a bed. That's as that's as big as this. Even when, when, you are, when you are seeing the wing, when the thing is flapping the wing, you hear, bah, bah, as the thing was flying away. 
I was at that old church. Let God be true. I know maybe like a woman came in the middle of the night with powder on her neck and was pointing down to me. In the middle of the night. I remember that I was settling fight for some two ladies in church that day. We sat outside around the level and somebody looked as if he wore white and he was coming to that junction and he got to that junction the person disappeared. The two ladies ran away. They were fighting before their fight stopped. They hugged themselves. They ran. They didn't want me to even settle them again. But I never moved. I, I never moved. See, you need to know God and let the source of help come from him. Because in the days of challenges, I sh nobody will be there to help you. That's why the psalmist said, I will look up to the hills. He said, from where cometh my help? He said, my help cometh from the Lord who made the heaven and the earth. Let your help come from God. If your help is not from God, I'm sorry for you. They will give you one nonsense and they will call it God. Which took me to number four. Number four is F from God. I told you F from self, F from woman, F from demon, and number three is F from what? The Bible said, the blessing of the Lord make it what? Rich. And had it no blessing is help from God. And it is the help of the Lord that will bring blessing to you and it will not have sorrow to it. God has the right people in the right place to help you at the right time if you will trust the help of the Lord. If you will trust the help from God God has the right people at the right place to help you at the right time. And let me say this. He can use anybody to do it. And that's why all of us will never have grown the help of God part time. I told you earlier, I said no man is self-sufficient, no man is all-sufficient, and no man is super-sufficient. No man. It's only God that is self-sufficient. It's only God that is super-sufficient. And it's only God that is all-sufficient. And that's why all of us will always need his help. He will, might use man to do it. He can use anything to do it. But I bet you, and I tell you the truth in Christ Jesus and I lie not. If God will not help you, every other person trying to help you will frustrate you. Believe me. And that's why we have come tonight to pray that God will give us help at every junction for the remaining days of this year. How many of you feel that's a good prayer to pray? He said, let us now go to the throne of grace that we might receive what? Mercy. To help in the time of trouble. It is in the throne of grace we obtain mercy and we receive help that will help us in times of trouble. So it's a very good prayer for us to pray. Help at every junction. That all through the many days of this year, there will be help for us at every junction. You want to get married, help will come. You want that job, help will come. You want that business, help will come. You want that change of story, help will come. Whatever you need, the help of God becomes sufficient. Can I just say that? Rest your feet, lift up your right hand. Let me say, Father, in the name of Jesus, let me never lack help. At every junction of my life, all through this year, in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, may I never lack help from now on to the end of this year, in the name of Jesus. We don't lift your voice and let God hear you right now. Kobori et alahende, kobori anta kado kubro diyamati, zekan telebori anta kedus kiateta. Rako Beli Kepa Ratuza. Is that the best you can pray? Say, may I never lack help for the remaining days of this year. At every junction of my life, at every junction of my life, may I never lack help. Is that the best you can pray? 
Roko bosi yateka. In that the best you can pray. May I never lack help in that business. May I never lack help in that marriage. May I never lack help at every junction. In the name of Jesus. May I never lack help at every junction. In the name of Jesus. May I never lack help at every junction. In the name of Jesus. May I never lack help. Riko si. May I never lack help at every junction, oh God. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Now. Someone lift up your right hand. Let me say, Father, uproot every, every, uproot every manipulating devils, diverting my destiny helpers. In the name of Jesus. Little by letter, let me say, Father, in the name of Jesus, uproot every manipulating devils, diverting my destiny helpers. In the name of Jesus. Everyone diverting your destiny helper, may the Lord uproot them. We do lift your voice and begin to pray tonight. Uh, there are people that God has placed in their heart to help you. There are people that God has placed in their heart to help you. But forces are diverting them. Oh God, arise tonight. Uh, oh God, arise tonight. Uh, uproot every manipulating forces. Uproot every manipulating devil. Diverting my destiny helper. In the name of Jesus Christ. That lady is supposed to help me, but something is holding her back. That woman is supposed to help me, but something is holding her back. That woman is supposed to be a blessing, but something is holding her back. Oh God, arise tonight. Uproot every manipulating devil. Uproot every manipulating demon. Diverting my destiny helper. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Uproot every manipulating demon. Uproot every manipulating forces. Uh, diverting my destiny up. Uh, making my destiny up uh, not to see me. Making my destiny up uh, to neglect me. Frustrating my destiny up uh, to locate me. Oh God, arise tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus. I will not be helpless, oh God. My destiny up uh, locate me. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Rekoku barahante kila. Sulebebika rekesu keta lekendo kura bereketu shushu seketa ligada rokomborita lekende kala ureketu ya esukati ya kesuzi. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Little Beretta, let me say, Father, arise for my sake. Destroy every wickedness. Diversing help at every junction of my life in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, arise for my sake. Destroy every wickedness. Diversing help at every junction of my life in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, arise for my sake. Destroy every wickedness, diverting help at every junction of my life. In the name of Jesus, are there forces diverting help at every junction of your life? You are supposed to get that job, yet they reject you. You are supposed to get married, the man said, I'm not doing it again. You are supposed to get married, the woman said, I'm not doing it again. You are supposed to be promoted, yet they say you are not qualified. The barata. Everyone diverting help at every junction of your life. May the Lord arise and destroy them tonight. We don't need your voice and prayer and say oh god for my sake arise 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 rekoteka ba reketekola liakosi Father, 
In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Somebody say, Father, destroy every foul spirit of wickedness, subjecting my life and destiny to lack of help. In the name of Jesus, say, Father, destroy every foul spirit of wickedness, subjecting my life and destiny to lack of help. In the name of Jesus, say, Father, in the name of Jesus, destroy every foul spirit of wickedness, subjecting my life and destiny to lack of help. In the name of Jesus, every foul spirit, every wicked spirit that is actually subjecting my life, subjecting the ministry, subjecting my marriage to lack of help. Oh God, arise. Oh God, arise. Destroy them, oh God. Are you praying tonight? That foul spirit needs to go. That wicked spirit needs to go. Every foul spirit, every wicked spirit subjecting your life and destiny to lack of help. Oh God, approach them. Is that the best you can pray? Ruke sukata eleke molita ebebe boroto esikente ileke ndoko bibonde eleko koto iraketa remokusa shakoto leka doko lobo leka di ure mata kata yeke doko ileke doko lepo likata esikete yulu ishokende ula mante ileke nto raka kokusata oh God arise her oh God arise her destroy every foul spirit subjecting my life and destiny to lack of help to helplessness oh God arise tonight in the name of Jesus in Jesus mighty name we are prayed somebody say father expose and destroy every wickedness manipulating the help assigned to me in the name of Jesus this prayer is for someone here the help assigned, there are help that is assigned for only you. There are help that is only assigned for only you. Only you. And the devil knows that one. That if you do not get it, you will waste it. How many of us have master degree here? Let me see your hand. Possibly. The people that have master degree, there are help that they need. People that have first degree, there, are, there is a help that is assigned, customized for everybody. If you miss it, it becomes wasted. Ah, I wish there's time I would have taught you on this. There's customized help. That when it comes, you know this one is for me, only me. And the devil knows that if you miss that help, you are doomed. You will not be doomed. Can you find a partner? And I want you to pray. Hold the hand of somebody. Just the hand of somebody. Hold the hand of somebody. Just hold the hand of somebody. I want us to pray. I just want us to pray right now. Hold the, no, you can go back, brother. Say, hold the hand of a sister Mercy. Hold the hand of somebody. And I'd like you to pray. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, expose and destroy every wickedness, manipulating the help assigned to this my neighbor in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, expose and destroy every wickedness manipulating the help assigned to this my neighbor in the name of Jesus. Would you please pray for your neighbor right now? In case your neighbor is not praying for you, you can change that neighbor. If that neighbor is not serious, change that neighbor. Oh God, arise and expose, destroy every wickedness that is manipulating the help assigned for this my neighbor in the name of Jesus. Rekota belekoto rakuski shakata Pray right now. The help assigned for you will locate you. The help that is assigned for you will locate you. The help that is assigned for you will locate you. The help that is assigned for you will locate you. The help that is assigned for you will locate you. The help that is assigned for you will locate you. The help that is assigned for you will locate you. Rekotela elekotaka bakotaka rakataketo ille makosu shakata lega rote koli. Ibarakoko, Ile Gagado, Isaketilala, Ele Gedekolo, Ile Mokoka, Shakata. The help that is assigned for you will locate you in the name of Jesus. The help that is assigned for you will locate you in the name of Jesus. The help that is assigned for you will locate you in the name of Jesus. The help that is assigned for you will locate you in the name of Jesus. Pray for that your neighbor, that God will expose her, that God will destroy her, that help that is assigned for you, that the enemy is wasting, that force of wickedness come
comes to an end tonight. Are you praying now? Reta Kadeka, Reko Tolebala, Ebalekado, Ileswata. Oh God, expose, destroy every wickedness, manipulating the help that is assigned to this my neighbor in the name of Jesus. Are you praying tonight? In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Little brother, let me say, Father, dissolve every mystery, ending my help at every junction. In the name of Jesus, say, Father, in the name of Jesus, dissolve every mystery, ending my help at every junction. In the name of Jesus, say, Father, dissolve every mystery, ending my help at every junction in the name of Jesus. We do lift your voice and pray tonight. We do lift your voice and pray. Every mystery, every hidden knowledge, every wickedness that you don't know, every hidden battles that is eating your help at every junction that they might be destroyed tonight. Lift your voice and let God hear you. 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 Rakatabari, dissolve that mystery of God. Dissolve that mystery oh God. Dissolve that mystery oh God. Dissolve that mystery, oh God. Dissolve that mystery, oh ha ha. Sula baby. Metuka la matula matulelele. Keruke baby kule kedo yokoto zaza. Dissolve that mystery, oh God. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Lastly, little brother, and say, Father, let your help be sufficient for me at every junction of my life in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, let your help be sufficient for me at every junction of my life in the name of Jesus. Is that a good prayer to pray? Let your right hand. Say, Father, let your help be sufficient for me at every junction of my life in the name of Jesus. Remember the psalmist said, I will look up to the hills. He said, from where comes my help? He said, my help comes from the Lord. We made the heaven and the earth. Psalm 60 and verse 11 said, he said, give us help from trouble for vain is the help of man. He said, through God we shall do valiantly. It is, the end. it is God that will make our enemy to come under our feet. Verse 12. Pray. Say, Father, let your help be sufficient for me at every junction of my life in the name of Jesus. Would you pray that prayer? Let your help be sufficient for me at every junction of my life. Let your help be sufficient for me In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Lift up your two hands as I pray. In the name of Jesus, the resurrected Lord, you will never be helpless anymore. If your amen can be louder than that of a neighbor, I speak by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, you will never be helpless anymore. The help you need at every junction of your life, in every department of your life, all to the remainings of this year, that help will come for you in the name of Jesus. Every fast spirit manipulating your destiny ever not to locate you, it is destroyed forever. Amen. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Number 
Number three things that the help does is that help make you to gain speed. Believe me, nobody enjoy the help of God and will not enjoy speed in life. In every area of your life, if I be a man of God, between now and the end of this year, the kind of speed you have never seen before in your life, may God cause you to enjoy it in the name of Jesus Christ. Things will never go down for you. Things will never go down in your life. I command your path to shine brighter in the name of Jesus. When things are tight for people, things will always be easy for you. Thank you, Father. In Jesus, mighty name, we are prayed. Can you can I hear you say?